Hello and welcome to the episode 310 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Two residencies, two recording sessions and two airplane trips are the main highlights of the day. Let's start with the residencies, both in Hamburg. On the 6th of November 1960, naturally, the Beatles were on the stage of the Kaiser Keller like every night in the last few weeks, still featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. Two years later, in 1962, the band had acquired its definitive lineup, with John Lennon and George Harrison on guitars, Paul McCartney on bass and Ringo Starr on drums. The group was busy on another Hamburg stage, that of the Star Club, playing their own set and backing the main star of the evening, Little Richard. On this date, the Beatles' 1963 autumn tour saw the band and its support acts stop at the AB Cinema Theatre in Northampton. On the 6th of November 1964, Extracts from the album A Hard Day's Night was the second Beatles EP to be released during the week. As the incredibly imaginative name suggests, it was a collection of four songs taken from the Hard Day's Night album, not featured in the film. Anytime at all, I'll cry instead, things we said today and when I get home. In the evening, the Beatles performed two shows at the Gaumont Cinema in Southampton. Before the first show, they were interviewed in their dressing room by reporter Tony Bilbo for Southern Television's Day by Day, aired on this date between 6.05 and 6.40 pm. More studio work in 1965, with the Beatles rushing to complete their next album, Rubber Soul and yet, no filler was accepted. Today the Fabs recorded a remake of I'm Looking Through You, after the 24th of October version had been deemed uninspiring, see episode 297 for that. Working at the EMI studios between 7.00 pm and 1.00 am, the band recorded two takes of the rhythm track, plus overdubs. The end result was certainly a step towards the sound that the band had in mind, but this version too was discarded. On this day, 1966, John Lennon, his wife Cynthia and Beatles assistant Neil Aspinall left Spain, catching a Madrid to London flight. Roughly at the same time, Paul McCartney flew to France, where he intended to have a road trip slash holiday. Paul wore a disguise, clear glasses and a fake moustache, to escape the attention of Beatles fans, but it was his flaming Aston Martin DB5 to attract the attention of the bystanders. Such a car was an attraction in and by itself. Anyhow, Paul managed to leave for the country, meeting with Beatles assistant Mal Evans in Bordeaux, and then heading for the Loire. In 1967, with the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film still going on at Norman's Film Productions, there was a stereo mixing session in Abbey Road. Between 2.30 and 6.00 pm, producer George Martin and engineer Jeff Emerick completed stereo mixdowns of Hello Goodbye, I Am The Warrus, Your Mother Should Know and Magical Mystery Tour. Let's close the episode with the 1969 session for Sentimental Journey. Between 7 and 10 pm, at the Wessex Sound Studios in London, Ringo Starr and 18 musicians recorded an arrangement of Stormy Weather. The song was not included in the final album, but circulated on some bootleg releases. Time to close shop for the day you might want to take a look at www.simonmas.com support to see how you can acquire the deluxe version of this podcast with hours of extra content. On that page, you will also find all sorts of ways in which you can help out, even without spending a penny. 
Tomorrow we have a live gig bonanza. Don't miss it. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.